What are you doing today? I'm playing Apex Legends. Connor got a PS4 and has since ignored me every single day. How come you don't want to hang out with me anymore? You know why. Tell me why. At least she's not here. I don't understand. Yeah, you know, just we all work to we all work better when we're all together. Oh, team three. Team three. Nice. You're not as fun for my intros anymore when you're playing your PS4. You need to stop distracting me right now. Oh, how wooed. Let me put some concealer on this pimple quickly because you know I like to keep it real, but not that real. I don't want to be like a troll, so. Look at my period today. Hence the um, acne and uncontrollable crying. I guess that's just like any other day, but anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally going to be giving you a definitive review on the Dyson Ultimate Air Styler Air Wrap. This, you know this thing, um, and the Revlon, the Revlon Volumizing Ultimates. I could look up the names of them, but we won't. So I purchased this a couple months ago, um, and I really love this. Okay, I was like, Holy Grail product. This is it. Throw everything else away. You don't ever need a traditional blow dryer. And then um, Dyson came out with this, okay? And I was like, ugh, whatever. I'm not usually one to, like, give in to the gimmicky. That's not true. I usually don't like to spend a lot of money on hair products when, I mean, they kind of all do the same thing. They heat the shit out of your hair. And then, you know, you uh, you curl it and straighten it and blow dry it. It's pretty, like, standard, but... You get one brush head, you get two heat settings, high or low, and there's a cool setting, which is nice. Um, and it's pretty, pretty, she's thick, okay? She's thick. Um, so it's a great product if you want like a nice voluminizing blowout. Here are my pros and cons for the Revlon styler. Um, super easy to use, very user friendly. If you can't blow dry your hair, if you don't know how to blow dry your hair, this is a product for you because you literally just have to brush it out. And that's what I did before work literally yesterday. So really easy to use. Super, super consumer friendly in terms of price. I mean, I bought mine for 50% off and I would have paid 60 for this product because it is a great, it's a great purchase. It completely is like a one step. I need to stop saying like, it is a one step shop in terms of blow drying and styling. Like you can grab and go like a snack, like me, a snack. That's a great, great, good job, Revlon, good pricing. Um, another pro, it does make your hair really shiny, really smooth. Um, it dries it quickly. I like that it has a combination of, of bristles. It's got like the, I guess they call them boar bristles and it's got plastic, so it does give you volume and it smooths your hair out. So that's a really great plus. And the last thing I will say that I really do like about this product is you can use it on wet or dry hair. If you don't know how to blow dry your hair, this is the product for you. And I will show you a little later in the video some tips and tricks I use to create like a salon quality blowout. Yes. So my cons with this product, this shit is heavy with a capital H, okay? It is not light, it's a thick, she is not a small dainty. She's like, I see a lot of myself in this product. It's not dainty. It's not small. It's powerful. It gets the job done. It's cheap and it's easy. Self-love. Um, the other um, gripe I have with this is, for me at least, the high setting, the heat, um, is it's hot. It's hot. Uh, if you don't use a heat protector, and even if you do, still like you can have you have the smell of burning hair. Um, that's kind of it. But it's just it's really heavy. It gets really hot. Like it's it's for sure super damaging to your hair. 
do your hair. And like, I know we all use our straighteners at 450 degrees, but I was talking to my hairdresser the other day and he was like, stop doing that. Stop it. It's killing your hair. So, um, this morning I did my hair with this Dyson. So it's possible to achieve like almost like a little bit beachier waves, um, with this product. So pro, uh, let's start with the, yeah, let's start with the pros. Um, very versatile. This has four of these, like a similar brush style to this. It's got just a straight up blow dryer feature. It's got a smoothing brush. It's got a volumizing brush. It's got four of these. Once you figure this out, it is really easy to use. Um, on days that I blast it with the cool setting, I look like Shirley Temple. So this does stay in your hair. And I brush it. I put a little bit of like hair oil in it and I put a little texturizing spray in it. So it does hold very well throughout the day. I do like that it's not as hot. It has a sensor. It's a very smart product. Um, it senses when your hair is heating up. It cools it down. Here are my cons. It is $550, which if you're looking just as like, oh, it's a hair product, I'm not going to spend $550 on this. However, you are getting a lot of different attachments like the... Let me look. I'm on Ulta right now. Just the blow dryer alone is $400. So this unit is worth a lot of money because it's, you know, it's a, it's essentially a vacuum. It's got a really great system engine, whatever they call it. Um, so yeah, it comes with one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attachments. So if you're going to divide, you know, 500 and fifty dollars by eight, you would get it would be about sixty-eight dollars per piece. So comparatively, if you're going apples to apples, if you're going apples to apples, they're almost the same price. Now I'm not an idiot. I know that you can't just buy this single system for sixty-eight dollars and this you can buy for sixty dollars. But if we're talking about a breakdown of what you're getting, you're, it's almost the same. That's the tea. This actually is protecting my hair from some of the extreme heat damage. Because before I got this, I was curling my hair every single day with my Hot Tools curling iron, just the regular, the one inch barrel thing. So it does make a difference in terms of temperature. Um, cons, it got, like it's really expensive. It's, it's not accessible to, um, you know, a normal consumer. You can't go to Target and pick this up. You can't go to Walgreens and pick this up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do half my head with the Revlon styler and half my head with the Dyson. I'll show you how to curl it properly, how to get like a beachier wave. Um, so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison and then you guys can kind of decide what you think. And I'll give you like tips and tricks on how to use this to get a nice like sleek blowout. So I'm gonna go wet my hair. It's, it's not like soaked. I would recommend that you don't do this when your hair is soaking wet, just in terms of speed, um, it will take longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle even though I look like a Amish queen when I do that. Mm, I look like a cute elf. So I'll use this one just to show a few layers and how I would use this. And it's like more of a direct comparison, so you can see. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the rev. So uh, you wanna section your hair off in as many parts as you think are necessary. And then a big piece of this is pulling backwards and away from your face at the root. And then I like to have a little bit of curl near the end. So I do a little bit of a curl in the direction I want it to curl like away from my face. just um, the round brush. You can see it gave me a little bit of volume, gave me some body in the ends. I personally don't love a stick straight blowout. Um, I think the point of a blowout is like to have a bouncy fun curl, a little bit at the end, you can shake it out, um, loosen it up a little bit and you get more volume. Okay, so now I'm going to 
transition over into this piece, which is more important if you ask me. Again, you're gonna wanna section off your hair. Um, you're gonna use smaller pieces when you're using the curling barrels just because you have a bit of less of a surface area to work with. And then what I like to do is I take the barrel and I just blow dry the roots a little because I don't, when I'm doing like a beacher wave, I like to only do a curl about halfway up the shaft of my hair and then turn it upside down and hold on to the ends a little. Um, you can dry them off if they're really wet, but I hold on to the end so that it doesn't wrap fully around the barrel and it creates a bit of a straight end. So you get a little bit more of a relaxed curl, as you can see here. Um, so I like let it sit for, I don't know, five, 10 seconds and I blast with cool air. So now I'm going to show you if you wanted um, really big, voluminous kind of Victoria's Secret curls, how I would use this to achieve that. So again, you're going to want to just dry the roots a little bit just to make sure that you don't have damp hair causing any crimps. And then you're just going to want to let the barrel take the hair. So you might have to guide the hair a little bit, but hold upside down. And I just hold about two inches from the end and until the hair wraps around and then slowly roll it towards your scalp. You wanna try and create as much tension on the barrel as you can, and then just pull it out um, and you know make it look neat. And the same thing here. Um, I take small sections just because it's. I find it a little bit easier to work with, but um, hold the end of your hair, guide it onto the barrel, and then create some tension. And I like to kind of angle it a little bit away from my face, which you'll see here and then blast it with a shot of cool air and you have really uh ribbony curls so cute if that's the look you're going for i'm all for it much more of a ribbon curl that is so that gives you a better idea of like the look I am trying to achieve. It's got that really like Victoria's Secret-esque, um, big, sexy, curly hair. So again, you're gonna wanna section the hair. Uh, you can use bigger pieces, but I like to brush it down a little bit. And then under the root, I like to start underneath, as you can see. Um, you want to pull up and away to create tension to smooth out your hair. You can leave like that, but I, again, like to curl it a little bit away from my face. So I just put it on, um, and then as like a twisting motion going downwards, I let the hair kind of pull off of the barrel. So you just create a little bit of body underneath, and then by going over top, you're smoothing all the flyaways down and creating a bit of curl near the end. The crown of your hair is really important. It's where you're gonna get all your volume, which um, I like to, again, start underneath the hair. And you it's almost like what you would do if you're gonna back comb your hair. You just really wanna create a lot of volume near the crown of your head so that as you go through the day, it kind of falls. So I like to just go back and forth. And then I always end by rolling it up um, kind of away from me and then letting it sit near the root and just heating it up. I mean, you could tell me different, but I think this is what it looks like when I leave the salon. Here is the other side. Um, even after having it like clipped up and away from my face, it still looks good. I just have to guide a few of the curls. So, I mean, these guys, like I did the, the big curls, but 
yeah, you, so you can totally see the difference. That's all I have for you guys today. Remember to stay spicy.